A journey of 950 kilometers from the capital of Kenya, Nairobi. The journey in pursuit of the Pokomo Zungaji drum that was stolen by the British colonialists more than 117 years ago. The state of the African diaspora, cognizant of the sociocultural deprivation caused by the stolen artifacts from Africa, is here to help in repatriating the Ngaji drum back to the Pokomo community where it was stolen from. And on arrival to Tana River County, Hola Sub County, a vast dry land without clean, safe drinking water, we met the custodian of tradition and culture, a 100 years old Mr. Said Kumbi Wedesa and the Council of Elders who narrate their ordeal and their 10 years struggle in pursuit and in pursuing the Ngaji drum from the British government. My name from the beginning to the end, I am Said Kumbi Wedesa. I was a police officer. I have lived for so long, but now we've been defeated by the powerful men because they do not follow the rule of law. So we do not have anything to say. You have called us here. We are here and we welcome you to share with us what you have. My name is Josephat Moses Ujeng, the MP of SOAD, that is the state of the African diaspora. And we are here on a follow-up of the Ngaji drum. We've been made aware through the media and one of the SWAD MPs, Mr. Dennis Phillips, based in England, of the whereabouts of the Ngaji drum. So we are here for the following reasons in this mission. Number one, we are here to inform you that the Ngaji drum is in the British Museum. Number two, we are here to seek the authority of the Pokomo Council of Elders for the state of the African diaspora to act on the behalf of the Council of Elders of the Pokomo community to have the drum restituted back to this community. Lastly, we are here to inform you of the partnership between SOAD and uh, the traditional communities, in this case, the Pokomo community, under the restitution program. If you would accept or if you would be willing to work and partner with SOAD under this restitution program and other programs that SOAD is running. So we have here the consent form that uh, you are required to sign if you are in agreement with the request that SOAD is putting forth on uh, the restitution program to have Ngaji returned back to this community from the British Museum where it was kept and it has been kept after it was stolen, brutally stolen from this community. There is no one who can refuse to take his property, especially if he knows where it is. But how can we take it when we are prevented from taking it, when we do not have, know the formula and the methods of following up with the British Museum. The colonialists and uh, the white man are very powerful. And our governments somehow can also not help us in following this. We are longing to have the Ngaji drum back. But as you can see, I am blind right now. I am not as I was. I am not active anymore. I am now weak. All this burden is now on the new chairman, Mr. Akari. If you succeed, it's Akari. If we succeed as a people of Pokomo, it's Akari. If we fail as a people, it's Akari. Because Akari is now the voice of this community. There was a person who wanted to help us way back, but we differed with him as the Council of Elders and, the people, and as the people of Pokomo because he wanted to make this Ngaji his personal property if he helps us in returning it back. So the person did not succeed 
in helping us because his mission and his interest could not be served. He wanted it for himself, but we want it back for the community because it's a symbol of our cultural heritage and pride. It's a symbol of our spirituality and it binds all Pokomos together. We give you the permission, we give you the go ahead to fight this fight. So you are the son of Pokomo. That is what the elder has said. Those are the words of Mze to you. So you and our Akare, the chairman, the son of Pokomo, together with the governor, should stand firm for this mission to the end of it. Do not fail this community. You've raised the hopes of Edu. He is an old man with a colonialist. He witnessed brutality meted by the colonialists to people when the drum was being taken. He heard of the pains that people suffered. He witnessed the loss of our culture and the pride of our religion. Songaji should not be a personal property. When it comes back, it has to be a community property. So these are the words from his heart. You have the elders' permission, and God bless you.